Munchkins and in this video I will be reviewing four different slime accounts that wanted to send a review package and what makes this review video a little bit different to other ones is that usually I only review South African slime accounts but in this video I have two slime accounts that are not from South Africa like this one that I will be reviewing first which is from one of our German Munchkins which is super super awesome this package is from Mellow Slime and they included all of these really awesome and cute little squishies and fishbowl beads and other little goodies that I'm really excited to use in future videos so thank you so much for including so many awesome things and then this is the first slime that came in the package and this one is called unicorn milkshake it came a little bit leaked but that's not a problem I still had a lot of slime left in the container it also came in the cutest little container This slime was probably my favorite one in the entire package. It was so sizzly and soft and it kind of felt like a butter slime. So a slime made with Dezo clay. It has that really soft grainy type sizzly texture that I really, really love. And it was also incredibly stretchy and it really had the best smell as well. It kind of smelled like cookies and cream. It was so good. And I also love the initial swirl of pink and blue and then you kind of mix it together to make this really beautiful soft purple colored slime Next we have this really cool looking DIY slime package and this one is red groots and milk rice and I had no idea what this was when I opened it first and then I had to google it and it's a sweet fruit dish from Denmark and northern Germany and it this slime came with a clear slime on the one side and then a micro foam crunch on the other side and I was really excited to mix them together. The crunch slime was just slightly slightly sticky so I just had to activate it a little bit before adding the clear slime. It was so much fun mixing these two different types of slime together and I ended up with this really crunchy um, thick slime and I also really really like the scent of this one it had kind of like a sweet cinnamon scent to it and I don't usually like cinnamon scented slimes but this one was really really good and it wasn't overpowering at all. One of the things that I really liked in this review package was all the labeling on all of, all of the slimes. All of them had these warning labels on the sides that looked really professional. And then I also really, really liked the logo stickers on top of the slimes. They were so cute. And anyway, back to the slime. This one is Elsa's Crystal. And it's also another DIY package in these really cute containers. And on the one side, you get a blue basic slime that you have to mix in with the Dezo clay, which was cutely packaged on the side.
this slime was so much fun to mix together and i really really love the end texture it was the same as unicorn milkshake also this really thick and sizzly butter slime and also i can't place the scent of this slime it had a really really interesting scent that reminded me of marzipan i'm not sure if that's accurate but it smelled really good Next we have Mickey's Candied Ice Cream Pop and this came packaged in this really cute ice cream container and it's a butter slime that also came with these cute little Mickey Mouse sprinkles. This one also had the same incredible texture as Unicorn Milkshake so I also think it's a butter slime. It was so sizzly, smooth, soft and thick. But unlike the other butter slimes in this package so far, this one I don't think had any scent to it. And next we have this beautiful slime called Rainbow Cloud that's a swirl of blue, purple and green I think. I think it might have mixed a little bit in transit and I think this one is a cloud slime. As far as I could tell, I think this slime was unscented. I couldn't smell any particular scent to it. And it also left a slight wet residue on my hands while I was playing with it. But it got a little bit better as I puffed up the cloud a little bit. And this one also puffed up quite nicely in the beginning. But then as I played with it more and more, it didn't really want to puff up as much but it was still a lot of fun to play with the slime and had these amazing sort of sizzles slight sizzles at the beginning Lastly, we have unicorn ice cream and this came packaged in the cutest little container. I love the sprinkles and the layered effect of this slime. I think this was also a cloud slime because it also left a slight wet residue on my hands, but it got better when I mixed it in. It didn't puff up as much, so I think it might have been an icing slime. And I also think it was unscented, but it was a lot of fun to mix the, all the different layers together. Thank you so, so, so much Mellow Slimes for sending this package all the way from Germany. We really, really appreciate it. And if you would like to go and check out Mellow Slimes on Instagram, the link will be in the description as same as for all the other slime accounts mentioned in this video. This next package is from Isabella Sarah and she doesn't have a website or Instagram account for her slimes yet as far as I know. She's still in the process of making her website but she sent a slime package for review anyway and she included loads of little extras and candies as well as loads of slimes for this review video. First up we have the Berry Butter Crunch Slime and this slime was incredibly thick. It was probably one of the thickest slimes that I've ever felt. It was so interesting and to make it even more interesting is that it was made with a bunch of slush beads as well as tiny little glass beads, beads which gave it a really interesting crunch. I really enjoyed this slime. The beads did tend to fall out a little bit but it doesn't bother me that much and it was just a really awesome slime to play with and then this one was also unscented Next we have Butter Blue and this slime was so thick that initially I thought it was actually a butter slime that had gone hard and I had to microwave it or something but it turned out to be a really thick putty slime and as I stretched it, it ended up making the best bubbles and I could actually stretch it really 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 far. And like the previous slime, this one also didn't have any scent to it. 
Next, we have a Unicorn Love Spell, and this was a crunchy butter slime, and I was really excited to play with it, because I don't often get to play with crunchy clay slimes, and this one ended up being really, really crunchy, and it also had this really soft texture to it, which I really liked, and it was also unscented. When I opened the second set of slimes, I did see that there was a spilt red liquid and I think it might have been red food coloring or something so I just had to wipe everything first before I could carry on with the review. I didn't want to stain my fingers. This first one from this next set is called a Gloop and it was this really really cute little jiggly slime that was unscented and it was quite stretchy, you just had to stretch it really slowly. Next we have Mashimiya's special edition and I think this was the one that leaked. I think the clay slime maybe separated from the food coloring a little bit. I wasn't sure but I didn't end up playing with this one because I didn't want to stain my fingernails. But thank you so much for including this slime. Next we have another special edition slime and I really 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 love this one. I think this was my favorite one out of the entire package. I really enjoyed playing with it. It was such a stretchy and thick slime and really really holdable as well and this one was also unscented. Thank you so much for this really incredible package Isabella. I really enjoyed reviewing all of your slimes. Next we have a package from Slime X Cape Town and in this package they included some Smarties for me, thank you so much, and then some cute little glitters. And then what I found really cool about this package is that the stuff contained in the box was actually some sort of DIY design kit which I was really excited for. And in this kit you get a basic slime and then a lot of glitters and other decorations. So I decided to add that to the slime and then to see what I come up with. And the basic slime in this kit was really really glossy and smooth and thick. I really enjoyed playing with it. The next slime in the package that I will be reviewing is Banana Split and this is such a vibrant yellow glossy slime. I really 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 like this one and it was also incredibly stretchy and it smelt exactly like banana flavoured candies. This next one is called Pink Drink Crunch and this one had the exact same texture as Banana Split. This one just had a few little tiny micro foam beads in it which gave it this amazing crunch at the beginning. This one also had a slight sweet scent to it which I think might have been the cream or something that was used to make the slime. And 
next we have one of the big slimes which is cereal milk and this one is also a basic slime it had the same texture as the basic slimes before also really stretchy thick and glossy and this one just had a bunch of these beautiful rainbow colored foam beads on top to represent some type of cereal i think i really really enjoyed playing with this one it also had the same scent as pink drink crunch which i think is probably the cream that was used to make it the only thing about the slime that i didn't like that much was the fact that it had the basic slime had a yellow tinge to it but i think that might just be the cream or the glue that was used the texture was still amazing like the slimes before And lastly, we have this beautiful DIY clay slime that's called Lemon Creams. And it came with this really pretty clay swirl at the top that you can mix in. And I really, really enjoyed playing with this slime. The end texture was so smooth, creamy and stretchy. And I just really, really, really enjoyed playing with this one. Thank you so much for sending this really generous package and if you would like to find out more information about Slime X Cape Town, their Instagram link will be in the description of this video. And lastly, we have a review package all the way from America from Satisfactory Store. And I was really excited about this package. It took such a long time to get to me, but just because our custom services here in South Africa are really, really slow. And in this package, they included a massive box of M&Ms, which I really thoroughly enjoyed eating. And then also some borax and an instruction card on how to mix your borax, as well as a strawberry Laffy Taffy, which was delicious. Everything in this package was so professional from the business card to the logo stickers and the name stickers on the tubs. Everything just looked so beautiful together. Everything in the package also came really securely wrapped in bubble wrap and none of the containers cracked. There was just a small leak from the chipwich slime but I think that was just because it was lying on its side in the package or something because I couldn't find any cracks on it. All of the slimes in this review video are from her Toy Story restock, which I don't think is active at the moment. But like this chip witch slime, she also has a permanent unicorn chip witch slime on her website, which I think is really popular and it looks so beautiful. So I was so excited when I opened the package and I saw that this slime was included. It was so much fun to mix in. I think it's a DIY clay slime with two layers of clay and then basic slime in the middle. And it was just a lot of fun to mix it in. And surprisingly, the slimes weren't even that sticky. I just need a tiny bit of activator to get a slight bit of stickiness away and then after mixing everything together this became a really smooth and stretchy clay slime and it also had a really sweet scent to it almost like ice cream Next up we have Buzz's Sunday and this one I was really excited for because it's a DIY clay slime. So you get a plain basic slime and a Dezo clay scoop of ice cream that you have to mix into the slime. And let me tell you, this basic slime was so glossy, thick and stretchy. It was really, really beautiful. And then by adding in the Dezo clay sort of ice cream scoop, you've got this really amazing clay slime texture in the end.
and then this ice cream scoop was also so beautiful i love the mixture of the four three or four different colors with it it was so pretty The slime was so much fun to mix together. I really, really enjoyed it. And it also had a really slight sort of fruity scent to it. I can't place what it is, but it had a really nice fruity scent to it. And then lastly, we have this beautiful swirled slime called Reach for the Clouds. And it was so much fun mixing all of these colors together. It turned into this really beautiful blue slime in the end. And I really, really like the texture. It was really stretchy and holdable and firm. However, if it was a cloud slime, which I think it was, it didn't really drizzle that well. And it also didn't puff up as much as I would have liked. But nonetheless, it was still a really stretchy and holdable slime. I absolutely loved everything in this package from the slime designs to the actual slimes and the packaging. Everything was so professionally done. And to our mushkins, if you would like to order from her, she's actually going to have a really awesome sale within, I think, two days or so, where if you buy four slimes, you actually get four slimes free, which is an awesome deal. So thank you so much, Grace, for sending this package all the way from America and trusting us to review your slimes. I really, really enjoyed it. And if you would like to get hold of Grace or any any of the slime accounts mentioned in this video, all of the links will be in the description. And then to end of this video, I have a really exciting announcement that you might have heard on Instagram already, but we will be having yet another pop-up shop in Cape Town at the Hillcrest Quarry on 21 September. So for now, just save the date, but we will be announcing more details closer to the time. But we are planning a massive event of slime selling as well as clear slime making stations and DIY slime tables. And I really can't wait to announce a bit more closer to the time, but for now, just save the date. And if you would like to join us as a vendor make sure to email us the details will be in the description